Every day, these dedicated professionals make life and death decisions in service to our community. Whether it's meticulously prepping an ambulance, dispatching paramedics in the field, or responding to the scene of an emergency, these three individuals exemplify the theme of National EMS Week, Call to Care. These are Pinellas County's EMS Professionals of the Year. Not long after he started as a Sunstar paramedic, Chris Collins got a routine call. At least, that's what he thought at first. We got dispatched out for a sick person, 17-year-old um, male. And we were right at the street from it, so uh, we pulled into the complex, which was a really nice complex. And there was a, a lot of kids on scene. There was just teenagers all over the place, and there was one in the bathroom that uh, he was just heaving over and over and over again. He was just flush and sweaty, and he wouldn't stop heaving. Uh, and it wasn't my typical alcohol call, but it looked like it. The boy's girlfriend insisted he had nothing to drink, and Chris knew something more serious was going on. Technically, he meets pediatric criteria. He's 17, so I'm supposed to take him 45 minutes to you know, All Children's Hospital. And instead, I decided he's a brain bleed. I'm going to take him five minutes up the road to the closest neurosurge facility. Chris did a thorough assessment and rushed the patient to the hospital. Staff at the hospital immediately did a CAT scan, which led to emergency surgery. I checked on him multiple times, and he walked out a week and a half later. Just full recovery, absolutely fine. And he had a significant, significant brain bleed. After two years as a Sunstar paramedic, Chris has already taken on the role of teaching incoming clinicians as a preceptor, and he was quickly promoted to field training officer. He's known for treating his coworkers and his patients like his own family and keeping their spirits high. Chris comes in every day with a great attitude. Uh, he makes people laugh, kind of can take any kind of bad situation and kind of turn it around uh, for his fellow crew members. Nick Eberhardt's support for others and his attention to detail has earned him the admiration and trust of coworkers and patients. He is the county's emergency medical technician of the year. We have a checklist every morning. We have to make sure we have everything in the truck stocked, ready to go. All of our trucks are stocked all the same, so if we're missing one thing and that one call where you need it will happen. So you gotta make sure everything's there every day. Since joining Sunstar in 2011, Nick has become a role model to his coworkers and to aspiring EMTs, who he trains to take the same care in their own work. When he's out in the field, driving an ambulance, or assisting paramedics with a patient, he always keeps his cool. He gets to know his medic, he gets to know his crews, and he gets to know that basically this is what we require, this is what we want, and it's already done before we can even ask for it. What makes the job most rewarding to Nick is his connection to the people he helps. Truly helping someone that is really in need. Um, like the, I had a guy, a cardiac arrest, a heart attack, that we got back after we shot him eight times and uh, transport him up a year later with chest pain. And I just remember the house, uh, the call, and he didn't know who I was. And it was kind of rewarding that I got to tell him that I was there and I did CPR and trans transported him and you know, shook my hand and it was, it was like two years later after the fact. There's hardly any emergency situation that Eric Fayed hasn't faced in his career as an emergency medical dispatcher. Over the years, I've had the you know, delivering baby calls, the cardiac arrest calls, your suicidal callers that are literally, you know, we had one call in on a non-emergency line, and when you call in that way, we don't get to look up your phone number. And they were actually in another county, so had to get a little bit creative and actually coax the information out of the person because they didn't, they didn't want anybody to come. Sunstar Paramedic Recorded Line, this is Eric, can help you. Eric dispatches Sunstar's fleet of 74 ambulances and ensures there are enough units stationed in every part of the county to respond quickly to an emergency. He also shares his wealth of knowledge with others as Sunstar's lead communications training officer, and he travels around the country teaching emergency medical dispatch courses. But that's only his part-time job. 
Eric also works full-time as a lieutenant at the Seminole Fire Department. His knowledge and his experience by far. Uh, being here since uh, 2000, Eric has uh, seen pretty much everything, done pretty much everything that you can uh, imagine as far as EMS goes. You know, one of the big things is just listening. You really have to listen to the callers because you can miss, especially on the 911 side, subtle clues that you know, might tip you off that, okay, they're telling me this is going on, but that's not really what's happening here. People have to realize that just because you're not going to save a life on every phone call doesn't mean you don't have that opportunity to impact a life or to make a difference. The Pinellas County Board of County Commissioners congratulates these three EMS professionals of the year, along with all the emergency workers that serve within the county's EMS system.